So, here's the range of motion test. <clears throat> Once again, this is a oh, probably should sit down. Once again, this is already after I've done a few warm up tests, but you want to test every set so that way you know that if it so that way you know that it's not getting any worse. So this will be my baseline for this set. So <clears throat> that was with these knuckles flat on the ground. And when I get done with this, it should be the same or I should be even should be able to go even lower. So let's check it out. I'll check my range of motion. That was a lot better. That felt like I could have almost got my wrist all the way to the ground. So, what that means is since it felt good and my range of motion got better, that means I can keep increasing in weight. And the reason I picked this weight, which is 205, is it's about 70% of my one rep max. So, if it didn't test well, I could stick here and do reps, but since it went better, I'm going to go up in weight, go up in percentage, and uh, see where we go. I'll let you know. Do a pre-test, do the bench, and re-measure, see where I'm at. So I'm right above between those two fingers. So it was good. I actually got a little bit better. Right, so I did 215 for two reps, pretty fast. Felt good, tested good. So I'm going to try 225, see how that goes. But not for about on my honeymoon wedding stuff for about 10 days. So I'll test it and see how it goes. And right about. That So, I actually got a little better. So, I don't know, always speed. A little bit slower than before. A little slower, yeah. So, it still tested good, but, um, but the speed was a little bit slower. And I have a feeling that if I go any heavier, my speed's going to slow down. So, I'm probably just going to stay here for my max I'm weight. Go up to, I'm only going to go up 5 pounds to 250. And... If my bar speed is the same as 245, I'm probably going to stay here. If it goes slower than 245, I'm going to drop weight. And if for whatever reason like it goes up like it's nobody's business, then maybe I'll add another 5 pounds for the next one. So, A lot of people forget that part of biofeedback, and a lot of people that aren't even pushing biofeedback, is uh, they always say, as soon as your bar speed decreases, to stop. Well, that's biofeedback, so that's what we're going to try to do.
And again, I'm back to my, my fingers laying flat on the ground. Go. One, two, three. Yep. Again, that actually tested the same, maybe a little bit better. But in the back of my mind, because I've been dealing with these weights for so long, I have a feeling if I go up too much more, my speed is really going to drastically decrease. So I'm actually going to stay at 250, and I'm just going to do as many singles as I can there until bar speed falls off. So by the end, I'll tell you how many I actually got. All right, so it's been about 22 minutes. Uh, still working on 225. And this one here will be rep number 10. So we'll see how it goes. So, like I said, that's what biofeedback is. It tells you when to stop and when to keep going. 